Let's go. Right now we're still here at the Chicago Pipe Show in front of the table of a Mr. Brandon Brooks of Heath Briars, not mm -hmm. to be mistaken with Brooks Brothers or Heath Bars. And I see he has an array of very, very interesting pipes here. Sir, what do you call this? That's a radiator, uh, Hector Weeds Company, and I did some custom bowls uh -huh. for them. And then uh, if you look at this one, I don't know if I can, you can see it on camera well or not, but if you look at it from this angle, it's a little more red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you look at it from this angle, oh, it's a little more blue. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. It's a chameleon. That, I, call that, That's uh, a, I call that vintage 3D because it's the red and the blue. It's a chameleon radiator. So if it ever needs to hide, it'll blend in with the metal and if you throw it on the sand. Or you wear some 3D glasses and look at it and just pass out. That's right. That's right. Now, these pipes are actually, I would imagine, what, may I ask, what is the price on this? 180 Less than two dollars. You can't. Yeah. You can't even get a half a dozen eggs for this. That's amazing. I think I'm going to take about twenty of these. Uh, I see your idea for color shift patterns is actually apparent in yet another pipe, which is also a radiator. Yes, this is also one color from this side, and it, that one is like a, a guitar fade kind of finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. And then I basically have two different lines of pipes. This is B squared, mm -hmm. and this is the Brandon Heath Prior. So this is rock and roll. And this is classical music. Well, that's a hell of a way of looking at it. We're also heavily into a app. I was telling you about this War Dragons, and when I saw your pipes, I thought to myself, "Good Lord, what an association!" Um, may I pick up the dragon the pipes with the eggs. If you take a look at this right here, you basically have a beautifully rendered dragon claw with an egg. I mean, it doesn't just get any better than that. Take a look at this piece. Yes, very beautiful. Yes, you can almost. <laughs> Use it. That's not the only one. There's another one right here. Yeah. I like the purple one. Now, I know now let me ask you, the dragon that's going to hatch out of this, is he going to be a sorcerer, a hunter, like a warrior? Well, it depends, because the red one, he's going to be a warrior. The, the purple one, he's going to be uh, definitely a wizard. Okay. okay, no hunters for the time being. Usually they go with a premium. Let me ask you something. It's an inside joke for the game. Your pipes are beautiful. I mean, I'm seeing something like this. This looks like a Neo Danish classic. It's like a ne yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, wow, this almost looks like something Van Gogh would smoke. This is beautiful. Thank you. That one is 325. 325, less than $4, guys. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing that I can make a mention. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it almost looks good enough to eat. What are your sources of fry? Uh, most of what I use, uh -huh. I get from uh, Vermont Free Hands. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it's uh, Mimo. Mimo, oh, Mimo of Italy. He seems to have gotten to be an incredibly popular source of briar. Definitely. Do you use any kind of curing techniques, oil curing, air curing, boiling? Some of the techniques involve that, um, especially in the higher ends. Uh, there's a lot of different steps in it, and uh, some proprietary things as well. Yeah. No, but that's interesting, and your uh, stems are also very different. Thank you. Uh, you use uh, traditional uh, lucite, ebonite? Well, this is, this is traditional ebonite. And then I have some that are more like acrylic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then ones that are, are a little bit uh, different form of that. And then I have a guy who does custom stem materials for me as well. The, the one on this claw is a custom material, for just uh, one I have an exclusive on. Yeah, very cool. Thank you. Yes, very, very nice. In fact, it probably wants, maybe at the beginning of the video, it would be really great. I don't know if it'll be possible at this point because I was in front of the table, but to actually have the two Dragon Claw style pipes. I mean, beautiful pieces. They are very beautiful. Nice. I'll check it out. But I, I got like two, but more like casual thing, <laughs> but not the one. So what was your inspiration behind the dragon? One of my customers um, saw an older pipe I did years ago that was an eagle claw, and it was, it was okay. Uh -huh. And he said, would you be interested in doing an eagle claw again? And I said, yeah, I think I, think I could pull off a better job of it. And he is involved with uh, Scottish uh, things, and I'm, I have a Scottish background yeah. as well. So he said he wanted a, a Celtic band around the top, like a knot work band. Uh -huh. I said, well, if we're going to do 
that ordering dragon for him. It was like, absolutely. There you go. The Genesis. He got, he was the first one to get the newer version mm -hmm. of this. He got a green dragon. Green, okay, very cool. The name of your pipes is basically B squared. B squared pipes and then Brandon Heat Briars. The two different okay. Lines. Oh, okay. So these are actually, yep. One maker, two different lines. B squared and Brandon Heath. When he said it was classical music. Uh, the B Brandon Heath Briars is classical. And the B squared is rock and roll. Yeah. Rock and roll. Classical. Rock and roll. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.